Hello and welcome to another episode of Quiarchus Plays Space Hulk Ascension Dark Angels. If you were with me last time, we finally got through Final Sanction, uh, but we did lose a Terminator in the process, so we're just going to check on our new guy. We lost, sadly, we lost uh, Brother Shoal to a Broodlord who was hiding in a vent. Who knew? I didn't think they could do that, but there we go. Never mind. Just get Brother Malachi set up here. Oh, bomb, anything else, more ballistic skill, and a little bit more toughness. There we go. Okay. That looks good. Community frag, we'll give him the emotion detector. Appearance. That's fine. Yep, and some. Give him the robes. There we go. The robes and the feathers. And that is all good, right. So, we're going to go on to the cleanse mission. Both squads are signed. Okay, so Squad Barrack is going to get an opportunity to shine here as well. A brood of gene stealers has found a way through past the perimeter of the sanctuary zone. They were driven away by a concerted counterattack, but managed to abduct one of the tech marines maintaining the zone. He is a warrior of the chapter and must be rescued, or, if the worst has happened, then he has been tainted by the gene stealers. Cleansed. Sergeant of the squad, accept your order. Okay, let's see what we are doing here then. So, deployment. Where's the crate? Right there. That must be where we've got to clean up. Yep. Okay, so straight run then. Through, clean, and then exit. I'm gonna put our squad Gideon here and squad Barrack here. So, Opter in the middle. Sort these guys out, Farkin and Timian. Right, let's have a look. So, how do we get into this room? There's a door there, door there. So, it looks like. Do I have to go this way? Or we go this way? Yeah, it looks like I have to go down this way and then through. We could come um, this way around. Yeah, come by the southern route. That's what we'll do this time. There's our first spawn point. That's fine. <coughs> Pardon me. That's fine. And you guys, there you go. There's one point right there, hey? Novel. Oops. Got to disable my um, Steam overlay. Sort that out later. A bit of a noobish thing to do. Let's get going anyway. Uh, we're going to have to go to here and try and blast this door off of its hinges. Which we failed to do. Ah. Oh, but he got his free attacks, so that was nice. There we go. Second time's a charm. Moving to target coordinates. Get ourselves moved up and ready to go. Let's see if we get any motion from those pesky gene stealers. Hmm? Nothing? 
Okay. Oh, there they are. I see them. I see you down there, pesky gene stealers. Yeah, I do. I'm assuming I can shoot at you as well. There we go. Two dead gene stealers. Let's get our password kind of moving. It would appear that we have nothing coming up from behind us at the moment. Let's double check that. Nothing worse than being caught out, but no. Overwatch here. Our apothecary squad has not really had much to do, have they? During this whole debacle. And there's a vent there. Okay, that makes life a little bit more interesting. I suppose we can block this spawn point with the apothecary's team and then move in with the um, librarian to capture the crate and take out this. Well, maybe the, yeah, the apothecary's team can capture the crate, the librarian can sort out the spawn, the um, captured tech marine. There, can't speak anymore, guys. Lost the ability to enunciate. A lot of gene stealers moving up. There's a broken door. Okay. There's a lot of stuff moving. Let's have a look. What have we got? What's this down in the depth? Scything talons. Scything talons. Don't know what that is. Something broke a door back here. And we've got a target moving in from behind us as well. Wunderbar. Don't like vents. Okay, I'm just going to put these two on defensive footing. Securing area. One, two, three. I don't think that can even get to us this turn, but. This is going to be putting him at an, ex an extremely bad position, so I'm just going to move him forward once. I'm going to overwatch. I'm not going to risk this squad. Squad Barracans is experienced as Squad Gideon are, and I'd rather not lose troops just this, uh, just this early. Especially as this is only a flash mission. Death, 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 death. One of them angry with a the door there. And why not? Doors are problematic, aren't they? So we've got gene stealers. And that gene stealer didn't reach us this turn. And did get quite far, so we know it's not a brood lord, which is good. Oh, he overheated, so just a second. Cool down. Can we get... Is that a... Why can't you reach there? You can. Okay, so we're going to block this spawn point off. There we go. And he does have a mine as well. The... Apothecary's team are going to let the Librarian's team pass. Watching for enemy contact. Overwatch. The plasma come down. We're going to stop there, just in case something manages to. Ah, 
and nothing can get through that in one turn, can it? Crazy. Bring him up Overwatch, bring him down. Once, twice, Brother Temian, the second of his name. Doing a reasonably good job there, keeping that back area clear. Step forward and turn around. Probably going to be a Broodlord, isn't it? Not a Broodlord, but he did miss. Take a fighting advance. Nicely done. Now we're going to block that doorway. There's a door there, so we can get up there, that's okay. We needed to check that. And then reload. There we go. Should be safe enough there. Temian is moving a little bit slower than the others of his team, but that's okay. Gonna drop a proximity frag mine there, sorts that spawn point out. And then we're gonna turn around and come back into a fighting position of sorts. Heading there, Brother Temian. Bring up the rear for the entire team. Okay. So a lot of gene sealers there. So we're going to nuke them with Hellfire. And that is something bigger than a standard gene sealer. So Gideon might be in a little bit of trouble here, actually. And as such, we are going to leave a little bit of space between Gideon and the rest of them. Just in case that does turn out to be a Broodlord and it rips his face off. Which would be very sad to see. We don't really want to see our Squad commander torn to pieces. Nothing coming this way, so we can take him off Overwatch and he can catch up. There we go. Hmm, what's going to happen to Gideon, I wonder? I should have put a block there rather than going for Hellfire. Right. Yes, it is a Broodlord, he misses and he dies. Oh dear, that was careless of me. That was incredibly careless of me. Darn. Still, Plasma takes care of everything. Can't believe I did that, that was so stupid. Overconfident, that's what it is. Overconfidence was my weakness there. So, how are we going to sort this one out? Move up to here. Onto Overwatch. No, actually, we could. Can we flame there? Yes, we can. Okay, so we're going to block that with flame. And we're going to block it as a spawn point. He's going to move over to AC. Can't get enough movement there to provide good overwatch fire. Turn. And 
Yeah, if he fires, he's going to catch his buddy. Oh well. We'll have to hope for the best, I suppose. Hope that they don't try and push their luck with that fire. Getting a bit careless here, aren't we? Which is not good. Not in the least bit. Anything coming from behind us? Nothing yet. I can't believe I did that. Ah. Yes, Commander. Oh, well, never mind. Yeah, okay, they didn't risk it. Take a look, see what we got down here, a Broodlord. I love that plasma cannon and its ability to kill Broodlords. Deploy proximity frag mine. This will force them to spawn further away from us, which is what we kind of want. Uh, go turn around here and move forward one. We'll just resolve our mission reasonably easily. Let's go move the rest of this squad up and out of the way while these guys go off to deal with that crate. Actually. Uh, there's no real reason to move these fellows, is there? We're near to completing our goals. Let's just see what happens in terms of dribblies. Okay, we've got a few coming in. Oh, we've got a lot moving in, in fact. He's got... What do we get? Range combat bonus. Okay. Get a step back there. Going to turn around here. To there and turn. I'm going to try and keep this corridor clear while our heavy does his job. There's a locked door there. Can we attack a door with? Yep, we'll get rid of a door, that's for sure. And then can we fire into this room? Oh, okay. What's going on there? Don't tell me I have to use the actual flamer. That would be very annoying. If that were the case, Mind we better sort ourselves out, make sure that that isn't the case. Okay, we are going to say super happy flamey fun times. Sucks to be you guys. Never argue with a flamer. I'm going to walk up to this door here, what's going on? Okay. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. We appear to have no tech marine to shoot. Okay, curious, not sure what happened there, but thankfully it didn't cause us too many problems. Okay, and that means we can scarper now. The rest of our troops can just start maneuvering themselves to the exit. 
flame is going to be able to lay down the suppression and keep that root behind us clean. We'll leave Temian to sort out whatever's coming this way. A hit at that range. He's a good shot, this guy, isn't he? I say any misses, never mind. Overwatch, reload. She could have taken another shot, but never mind. Let's move out of here. Our own person will get to the chopper moment. Contact spotted. Oh, can't reach them with that. We can use a long shot though, can't we? Now we'll reach them. Smarmy little goits hiding up there. Keep us nice and clear behind as well. Get everybody out of here. God. Wow. What are the chances? 44%, not too bad actually. Once. Pretty good shooting, sir. Let me get him ready to exit. Right. I can't believe we lost Gideon. That was such a stupid move. Ah, never mind. These things happen. Objective we've got a target there, so we're going to... No, I said we're going to... <clears throat> Long fire there. Keep that nice and clean. Got nothing coming this way, so they can get ready to leave. And they can get ready to leave. That thing survived, whatever it is. And then it died. With all due haste. Oh. Poor Varkan. All on his own. Targets. And out he goes. Careless, careless loss of Gideon, though. That was silly. That was really silly. Still, a lot of levels up in squad barrack, which is good, and plus 20% chance to hit with ranged weapons. That should come in handy for our next mission. I didn't see how many kills we got. I don't think it was that high. I'll have to check it out in a few minutes. Right, so let's sort out our levels. And then we've just got possibly one mission left, possibly two. And that should be the last mission actually. First impossible, second impossible, last one meltdown. Hmm, okay. So, we got the Encaldian Bolter, still not really worth anything. No new skills, attributes, we can increase his ballistic skill by one point. Apothecary, Optic Nerve and Metabolic Enhancer. Various now has access to the Assault Cannon. Ooh, look at that, plus two damage. We can use these things now. Thanks to a wonderful patch from the fine fine folks at uh, da, 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 dum. that's what we wanted full control studios who in spite of only being a very very small team were able to actually patch the game so that's pretty awesome equipment yeah appearance you've probably got lightning claws and yes because you're a melee one Yeah, look at that. Lightning Claws, melee. We'll give him the Chain Fist anyway, because they're awesome. I'll leave him like that for now, save his points for later. 
Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode. I can't believe we lost Gideon. We've now got Kalen. That was silly of me, wasn't it? Very silly. Never mind. These things happen. Uh, if you've got any comments, positive or negative, feel free to leave them below the video or co you know, comment directly to me on Facebook, uh, Google+, Twitter, all those wonderful places, at Quiarchus. Like, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. And I shall see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.